don't really have time for this, but I'm doing it anyway. Not even giving eye contact, look, just strolling on through. See you later, and off to see you, bye. I'll switch camera around though, even though I've got no time. It just gives the impression that I'm walking this way, even though, let's be honest, I'm not more hassle than it's worth, because you've got to come back for it. You've got to come back and get it, and it's all good. Makes a nice video, but when you're in a rush, I don't know why I'm doing it. It's just daft. Yeah, there's our destination. <laughs> not far, not far. We'll be there in about eight minutes. Right, it's 20 past three. So, sunset, about 10 past four. 50 minutes <laughs> to get somewhere. Um, as I said, I don't know if, I, no, I didn't say. As, <coughs> as I've not said, uh, I don't have a tent with me or a tarp and I'm just I just want to test out some winter gear and so uh, I don't really want to be I want to be out in elements so I've just brought my bivy bag don't, we ain't got much time but I've got nothing to set up I just blow my hair bed up and we're done uh, I'm not going to have a fire it's going to be cloudy so there's going to be no stars for me to ogle. <laughs> I'm just going to get zen, mate. Bottle of rouge. My own thoughts. Be nice. Regarde. Onward. Hiya, mate. Uh, can you tell me what aisle you keep your... Uh, I'm looking for some... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for your curly whirlies, mate. Do you, can you tell me what aisle your curly whirlies are on? All right, cheers. Does it smell like human care? Or sheep keck, no. Smells alright. Uh, looks like we've got ourselves a humble abode. Uh, isn't it? Uh, some little bits of wood from some some youth. Is it dry? It's soaking wet. Condensation hopefully. Oh yeah, feel it all on here, look, it's soaking, man. Got here just in time, just in timber time. Right, checked out my little cave. There's cow, cow pats. So them highland, that, them highland cows come along here, so I have to just be, be mindful of it in the night. Uh, but it's a little claustrophobic in that uh, in my little den for now especially why it's still light out here so I'm just going to chill out here Whew. you know it is People might think I only bang on about Northern Monk because they, because uh, I'm on the cans and stuff. But my real dons know; <laughs> they know that I've been on this since day one, and it's nothing's going to stop. And uh, shout out anyone from Northern Monk who's watching, and thanks to Northern Monk for hooking me up recently with a, a nice little care package. It's much appreciated. And this was in there. Keep the faith, mate. Keep the faith. In fact, I'll go and get a photo of that for him. Yes, mate. Let's go. Let's go. To you lot. Absent friends. Not had a slurp for a while and they were uh, staring down bar barrel of uh, lockdown point two. So, uh, 
although not as mental as the first one, I do. You know, I'm aware of people reaching out and saying how hard it is, and it, you know. So this one's for you anyway, cheers. Oh mate, and cheers to the people that I don't speak to anymore. The old people, old friends. Old friends that maybe watch my videos, but I, for whatever reason, we've lost contact down the line. We don't speak to each other or time as, you know, paths have gone different ways. This is to you and I hope you're okay. Mm. My word. Northern Monk, I've start, I think they've started selling that in Tesco's now, so if you want, if you fancy a little, fancy a little bit of wash, then get it down, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Come here. Where are you? Right. Oh, mate, this is... I'm not even... I'm going to show you with this. It's so... Uh, for, those of the, for anyone who's new here, I recently broke a knife that was very dear to me. Um, and somebody reached out and said, I would like, I've watched your videos and I'd like to make you a new knife. I said no, and he, said, and he twisted my arm. And I looked, well, I looked at his work on Instagram and I knew that he was legitimate. And very, very kind, very kind man indeed. Wait there, because I've got, I've got this all written down because I didn't want to miss, I didn't want to, uh, I don't want to mess it up as I do. Mark Lindley, Mark Lindley, right, this is, I am, this come, this came at such a good time as well, mate, this was, a, it cheered me up no end. This is a custom seeker, right, look at this leather, you see that cut down there? That's where I opened. I was eager to open it and used the knife to open the sheath and sliced it a bit down there. But that's an early battle scar. I'm just going to read this for knife boffins out there, mate. It's um, 67 layered uh, Takfu stainless steel with VG10 core. <laughs> Sorry if you're not a knife person. Stabilised elm burl with blue pearlescent glow in the dark resin and white G10 liners. The pins... Uh, campfire and woman's leg and knickers handmade leather this is the sheath it's handmade leather turquoise stitching with dangler and I tell you something I tell you something I tell you something I'm gonna put a link to um, to my boys uh, Instagram down downstairs and uh, you know, if you're into your knives and, and craftsmanship and stuff, give give him a follow. Uh, Luke, York Knife, I'm not cheating on you, mate. We've got an open relationship. I'm allowed to see other knife makers. You're still my main squeeze. Don't you worry about that, lad. Don't you worry about that. This is just my bit on the, <laughs> it's my bit on the side. But anyway, get carried away there. Look at this. I'm over the... I'm just... It's just... A little dangler. You're going to see this is more... In up and coming videos um, but I just wanted to show you while it was while it was still clean look at this look at this mate can you see the layers there a little choil in there The pin, look at the right, and it's glow. This bit, let's get my mug out the road. This bit glows in the dark from a night if you, you know, when you're on the fire and stuff, or you need to locate it. And the pins, this one is a, if you see there, that's a fire with the logs underneath it. And this one is, um, it's actually a uh, someone pulling down the knickers. I don't know if you can see that properly because of focusing issues. There you go. Someone pulling down the knickers there. That's I don't know why he's done that, but I love it. I asked for it, that's why. Anyway, it's got a 90 degree on there. I've uh, thrown some sparks on it, off it. <laughs> it's just, mate, it's sharp. It is 
it's Pat Sharp. Patrick Sharp. See all the hairs on there. I don't have any paper to uh, slice with, but anyway, you're going to see more of it. I just wanted to, uh, man, I just wanted to showcase it. It's so stunning. You can see the mirror. Look at that. Beautiful. So it's, it says it's not to be used for battening. So I won't be uh, beating Living Daylights out of it, but it's very light compared to my other, my other knives. I think it's probably even lighter than the SE3. Um, but I won't, I can't comment, I can comment on the sharpness and the the uh, craftsmanship. There's his little, um, his little sign in there as well. You see? Yeah, I can comment on the craftsmanship and it is, he's done a wonderful job. Symmetrical on it's just really nice. It feels different to me with the knives. It's not as chunky, it's very it feels very nice in my hands. So yeah, but I won't pass proper judgment yet because I've not feel I've not you know prepped anything, we've not prepped any food or whittled anything with it or anything, so I won't give it my full a full review, but so far it is beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, I've, I've actually got some paper. That's what I was reading. <laughs> it's only fitting, isn't it? I guess. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, cheers, Mark. And I, I know I've said it loads anyway in text, but I just... Thank you very much, mate. It means a lot. I'm blown away by it. Thank you. Watch. Regarde. Sharp as. Excellent. Excellent. That's it, just dangles. That's what always put me off it whacking you in dick like that. But it's actually quite good. It's double hand off. And then it doesn't it doesn't jab you as much. I know the the belt carry can stick into you a little bit. And you're manoeuvring around in that. Let's have a look. That's nice. I can get used to that. I can get used to that indeed. Quick. Easy in and out. <laughs> it looks the business as well, doesn't it? If you squint your eyes and concentrate, I might even look I look like a bushcrafter. I've had to cancel all my trips. I was supposed to be going over to see um, Mike from MCQ Bushcraft. I was supposed to be going up to Scotland to um, to do a bit of filming up there. Um, to test out a, a tent, a TP tent for Nordic Outdoors, my boys. I was supposed to be going out with Matt Morgan. I was supposed to be going out with Matt Morgan now. Me and Matty Morgs, but lo and behold... Uh, things are a little bit uncertain at the moment, so I just wanted to get out and get myself a night under the stars and test out some winter gear. I've got some new winter gear. I wanted to get out up into the mountains, but that ain't happening, so I'll sleep out here. Either in my little cave down there or just out here in the bivvy bag. See how, see how it all fares. Look at this. Oh, it smells like newness. Amanda Nunez. I mean, it looks a bit like some mad, um, some sort of like bootleg superhero outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I put it on? Watch this. Uh, this is only an under, this is an undergarments, but let's have a look. There you go, bootleg. Bootleg superhero face. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like I'm in my pyjamas, mate. <laughs> you having that? Ugh. Look at this. It feels wonderful on the skin, look. It's uh, Aklima Merino Wool. I just wanted the best base layer that I could get. 
for this winter because I want to go I want to do a lot of uh, winter camping so I don't want to be cold and so I reached out I reached out to my friends at Nordic Outdoors and um, I said can you I said I'm looking for a base layer because I wouldn't want to go anywhere else because they do you know, it's a small uh, independent business. Where are you? Yeah, it's a small independent business that I want to support, mate. I've been, I've bought loads of stuff from them. You know, without any freebies or discount codes. I got my, I got my tent from there. I've had all sorts of bits and pieces when I've been to the, uh, um, their shop in the Lake District. And they're just lovely to to, to deal with. And anyone who's I'm sure anyone who's bought stuff off them online or been into the shops on there that they're lovely. They are so warm. And um, I'm gonna use them for work as well. For winter. He said um, that he would pass on a discount code for anyone who watches my channel or follows me on Instagram, which was very kind. Feels amazing on your skin as well, not itchy at all. Um, yeah, if you wanna get yourself a 10% off, there's a code, I'll leave it on here, look, it's uh, hazy10. Just, I'll leave a link below to them, to the to the, um, to the the Merino wool section for Nordic Outdoors, but uh, check out their axes and the tents and everything as well, and support local. And especially through these uh, trying times, uh, it's important to, to give our money to, uh, not to the big corporations and just help out the little man. So, yeah, hazy 10 for 10% off all Aklima at Merino wool gear. There won't be a fire to um, chat around, so I'll do what I can and then just, I'm just gonna log off and have a slur and just relax. But while it is, okay, this is just a show and tell, isn't it? Show is showing you everything. I mean, these, I'm just honored to have these because I've been looking for, um, a new pair of gloves. I suffer from my digits in winter, for anyone who knows me. So I wanted to invest in some good gloves for them that I can and that I can go to the mountains in the snow and also in the woods around the fire and things that I can hold hot metal with and these are <laughs> the Rolls Royce of gloves and I'm not gonna talk about them now because I've not I've not basted them or used them enough. To, to be able to talk about them, but they are, the few times that I've worn them, they're amazing. Uh, and anyone who knows, knows how good these gloves are, but we'll get to them, we'll get to them in future. Might even do a separate video about them, because that's how it is, a separate, <laughs> a standalone video on a pair of gloves. Who does he think he is? The audacity of it. <laughs> Look at it though. Love it, mate. Love it. The changing of the seasons. You see, autumn's starting to die down now a little bit and, and give way to winter, which I love, man. All seasons for me. All seasons. I've got a new sleeping bag, but again, I don't. I can't go on about it too much because I've not tested it, so I don't have a. I can't really talk about it. What I should do is talk about my old sleeping bag because I can talk about that one. The old pipe dream, woo! We've had some adventures, that's probably a separate video as well. Anyway, I'm waffling on, because I've got no mates. I've only got you lot here with me. So it's a waffle fest, waffle house. I'm just sailing through this. A wonderful drop, as you can hear. It's peaceful, mate, peaceful. Um, it was supposed to be clouded over, but you can't see Nish, mate. I'm just hanging out in the fortress, look, <laughs> and I've called it a fortress, which I'm calling it a fortress this evening. It's a bit echoey in here, but can you see? The condensation is real. The roof is just sodden and dripping. The, the ceiling is covered in water, though. It's dripping. If it gets too wet, I'm just going to do a little... A little roll out here and sleep outside the cave.
where there's a bit more um, airflow. Unless something groovy or spooky happens, I shall see thee on the morrow. <laughs> I was getting absolutely pissed on. The top of that rock was just dripping. Everything got soaking. Oh my, like my camera, my sleeping bag, just things, everything around me, my bottle of wine was just drenched. So I've snuck out and I'm here. I'm keeping uh, in the folly. While I ogle the stars, I'll let you have a look at a coffee table I knocked up using some leftover decking boards from a recent landscaping job. I finished it with Shozuki Ban. Uh, the Japanese art of preserving wood using fire. I'm not a carpenter, I just, I've got a drill and a saw and that's all I used. A bit of wood glue, a sander um, and finished it with some linseed oil. Morning glampers, and a beautiful morning it is. A bit windy, it's life. Like a two hot new bag, especially with merino wool gear on. <laughs> Sweltering, mate. Went to bed in the cave, and it was just too, it was too wet. There was no breeze in there, so there was just so much condensation dribbling on me. No bants, so. I came out here where it's the windy, it's a bit windy, but that just means no condensation. Um, there kept being breaks in the clouds so I could see the stars, which was nice. Uh, I get to wake up to... get to wake up to that.
stunning. Stunner. Stone Cold Steve Stunner. So I was just in my new Rab Ascent 900 with the Hunker XL BV on top of my Thermarest X Therm. All my winter gear came through for me. Too, too powerful it was. Too powerful. Oh, look at that. Right, let's get up. The beauty of bivy bag camping. So easy to pack away. I don't have a wet tent. No condensation in it, just... Quick and easy to pack away. Ah, fancy having a brew. Let's have a quick brew. Sure, I've got an emergency uh, Yorkshire tea bag somewhere in my bag. Come down here. Leave nothing, no trace that I've been here. I'm gonna go and try and find somewhere. I know it's nippy, but I've not dumped my junk for a while. And, uh, I just feel like it'll be a fitting end to this trip if I was to go and dump my junk. And for anyone who's watching who supports on Patreon, you'll know about my mate's uh, memorial bench. Well, the bench is now up, um, so I'm gonna go. And, uh, and go and see it and we're gonna go and have a cup of coffee on the bench and have a look out to sea. It's early in the day so we've got nothing to do till midday so we've got half a day. Let's do this, come on. This isn't even the way by the way but it's not even the way because it's wet. Cause there's a lot of cows here. And they're staring at me like, look, I don't have a zoom, but... Look at them. They're on path. Oh, lads. Oh, they want it. Highland. Look at them, beautiful. They're beautiful. Beautiful cows, but... Are we going to have a problem? <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. I fancy my chances. Come on. Come on. Look, lads. I don't want any grief. I'm not... I'm not here for any... I don't want to get stabbed by them things growing out of your head. There's more of you than there is me. To be fair, even if, they were, if you really wanted to, you could... You could do me. You could do me if you want. Can I get past, mate? Look at this. This is standoff. Oh, no. Right, I'm just going to come past, mate. Wait. Go. Go on. Go up. Get up. Get up there. Not having it, look. Full on. Standoff. Right, I'm going to go around. I don't want any beef. No, I don't, I don't mean... I mean like that, but right. Look, this is how you deal with them. You just go around them and hope they don't get skittish. <laughs> They're all right, it's these no, young uns. You just stay there, you youth. <laughs> there. I showed them who's boss. The cow whisperer. There you go. Tamed them. They don't care. They just don't care. See you later, mate. You know it. See you later. You were lucky. You know you were lucky, don't you? He knows. <sighs> right, have I put this camera away, mate? Stick my gloves on my digits and just get some power hiking done. There we go. Parked up here. My mate's memorial bench, so let's have a little sit on it. 
Comfortable, very comfortable. Look at that. Look at that for a view. Not bad. Not bad at all. The people that support on Patreon, we, uh, I put a load of, uh, I put like a care package together and uh, did a little competition and the winner got the care package, got a good deal and we raised some money to go towards this bench, my mate's memorial bench, which is good, full circle. So for those of you that are watching that support on Patreon, thank you. I forget your name who actually won the bag full of stuff, but there you go, mate. <laughs> That was it, that's what it was all for, so thank you. Much love. Look at that for a view, mate. Ah. Good shit, good shit. Let's go Dunkus the Junkus. Take it easy. Absent friends, rest in peace, Matthew. Let's go. I found this bit, it's running very quick, so I'm not going to swim out into the middle because that, I don't know it enough to get out into the middle of it, but I'm probably going to have to get in up here and just drift down the side a little bit, or just try and dunk myself in there. Quick dunk, in and out, let's go. Just do it, mate. Just do it. Eh? I've drifted away. Oh. <laughs> Cobweb's gone. Cobweb's blown out. Take it. Another one in W column. But bad boys. Oh, these are subs. These are, this is away kit. Oh, it makes you feel alive. Alive. Suitably refreshed. Just want to say thanks to everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. And I think I said it yesterday, but anyone, you know, anyone that I know who knows me, who I don't keep in touch with, but they still watch the videos, this is for you. Um, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all well. Take care of yourselves. Much love. Much love. Uh, I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon. I'm, I've got a few things planned. Uh, lockdown 2.0 has thwarted a lot of me, uh, me big plans, but I've got a few little side plans ready to go. So, yeah, again, thanks to everyone who comments and thanks to everyone who hits the like button, wherever that is, downstairs, hit the like button. It may, it may, it, you know, it's only doing that, innit? You're only off, you've got to do that, and it's, it's like a nice little, uh, I can see that people like it and it helps. So there you go. Uh, what else, mate? What else? I don't want to go. <laughs> don't leave me. <laughs> what else can I say? Just thanks. Thanks to everyone. Um, eternally grateful. Thanks for me knife. Thanks to Nordic Outdoors. Check out Nordic Outdoors, mate. Gets this end some gear. Gets this end some... Uh, I ain't got it on. Gets this end some merino wool layers treat yourself for crimble get it done uh discount code hazy10 for 10 percent off all the um acclima merino wool stuff so that's good that's good yeah that's it man for anyone who uh check out my i've people asking me what pants i wear mainly about my other pants a lot and what kit i use i've put all the kit i use or the majority of the kit that i use my pants me clothing, cookware, camping, bushcraft, everything uh, in my Amazon shop down, downstairs. <laughs> so if you want to look at anything that I get in, 
know what make or model it is or where to get it it's all down there um you can buy it through my amazon shop it's at no extra charge to you and i get a little kickback so it's a win-win situation and it's all there for you to see uh, and as i get new kit and test new kit out i'll keep updating my shop so please head on over and have a little look get yourself a christmas present <laughs> e. right much love to you all take care of yourselves and uh, i'll see you soon ciao for now